Hey guys, in today's video, we're taking a look at standby mode for the iPhone. This is a really cool feature that turns your iPhone into a smart display while it's charging. I've been using this while my phone is charging on my desk, but this is also great as a nightstand setup next to your bed. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get it all set up and customize the different screens. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so to get started, you just need to make sure your phone is on iOS 17 or later. So this is my iPhone 16 Pro and it's on the latest update, which I think is 18.4.1. But if your phone isn't up to date, just go into your settings and update your phone. And so once you're on iOS 17, then you have this feature available to you. So to check that standby mode is turned on in your phone, you can just go to settings and then you wanna scroll down to standby mode and then make sure it's turned on up here. And then while we're in here, we'll just take a look at the other settings. Okay, so under display, you have a couple of settings to choose from. So you can have the display turn off automatically and this will just sort of sense when you're not around and turn the display off. But sometimes I've noticed it can just turn it off when I am still sitting at my desk and I want it to be on. You can have it turn off after 20 seconds. So maybe if you're using this in your room at night time and you want it to be completely dark and all turned off, you would use this setting. But I have never turned on. I like it to always be displaying standby mode. And if you are using this as a bedside clock, turn on night mode. This will pretty much just make the clock go like a red color so it's not really bright in your room at night time. Once you've picked your display settings, we'll just click back. If you wanna show critical notifications, you turn this on. Standby mode won't show all your notifications. It's only gonna show whatever apps you have critical notifications turned on for. And you can do the show preview on tap only if you want. So that's all of your standby settings. So if we go out of that, to actually use standby mode, your phone needs to be charging. So I have this MagSafe charging stand to charge my phone. And all you need to do is put your phone in landscape make sure the screen is locked and then it will appear. If you don't have a MagSafe charging stand, you can still use this feature. All you need to do is have your phone leaning up against something in landscape mode. So I have this little stand here as well, or you can literally just lean it up against your water bottle or something. Put it in landscape mode, leaning against something, and then you just plug in your USB-C cable make sure the screen's locked and then standby mode will work as well. So if you don't have a charging stand yet and you wanna test this out, you can do it like this as well. I'll also link my charging stand in the description below if you wanna check that out. So when you're in standby mode, you have three different views. This view is sort of like the widget view, so you can actually change the left and the right side to different widgets. And then if we go across, this is the clock view, so you have all different clock options in here. And then if you go across one more, you have a photo view. So you can have like a slideshow of photos displaying here. So we'll just go back to the widgets and I'll show you how to customize this page. So if you press and hold on a widget, this is like a smart stack and you can add all different widgets in here. So these are the clock widgets I have in here. So you can hit this minus button to remove it out of this smart stack, or you can use this plus button here to add in more widgets. So if we click that, you can go through all of your different apps and they all have different widgets you can use. Some aren't really made for standby mode, but you can sort of use them. Sort of the good ones are like clock, you have a bunch of different clocks you can use. You have like a, the weather ones are good if you want to display the weather. Um, if you use Apple Music, you can display current news topics. You can display stocks. So you can go through this list and pick any widgets you want. So you can use things like Apple Home, or for me, I use Google Home. So in here, I can add a widget to turn on and off like my lights in my office or around the house. So you'll just go add widget and then you'll click on that and then I can customize the widget controls. So I can just use my favorites or I can come in here and click custom and add the exact lights I wanna add. So over here you have smart rotate, which I like to keep off. This will just rotate through these widgets. 
and you also have widget suggestion which I also turn off and this will just put in widgets that it suggests that you might want to look at. If you just go done it's going to save any changes and then when you scroll through you can see that you've added a widget and it's exactly the same for this side. There's all different widgets I have in here. You can have your Apple reminders in here and this is actually interactive. So um, like right now I'm filming my video so I could tick that and it's gonna remove that from my reminders list. Um, I have my office light in here. This is my YouTube music. I can hit play just to listen to music. I have my calendar, battery percentage, this one here is one I got from an app called iScreen. So you can add third party widgets. So if you go to the app store and put in standby mode, you'll get apps like iScreen. There's a few others as well, but a lot of the other ones are paid. iScreen allows you to have two widgets for free. You just have to watch like an ad. So that's something to keep in mind. This one's also from iScreen and this one's from iScreen. So those are my two free ones that I've used. So yeah, that's pretty much widgets. And if we go across, we have clocks. So you can actually customize the color of most of these clocks. So to customize this one, you just press and hold. And then you get this little round circle down the bottom here. And you can click on that and actually change the color of your clock. So there's a whole bunch of different colors you can pick. So then once you've picked your color, just click the little X and you have a few different clocks. So you've got solar, float, this one's pretty cool too. You come in and change your colors. Um, this one here is like a world clock. In the clock app, if you've added other locations, this will pick that up. So you can come in here and Maybe if you work with people overseas, um, you can see what the time is there, which is really cool. And then you just have this analog clock, which you can also customize the colors. So yeah, there's not a whole lot of customization for the clocks. It's mostly just the color, but it still looks nice. I usually have this clock on and that's probably my favorite one. So then the last screen is gonna be photos. So you just wanna swipe across and this will display a slideshow of your photos. So if you click and hold this, you can come in here and add albums from your Google Photos to display. So if you click the plus button, you can come through and pick which album you want. So let's just go to landscape and that's gonna pop it down there. So I have these two albums here that I wanna display and then we go done. And then it's just going to do like a photo slideshow and change the photos. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back and show you night mode. Usually if I have this in my room as a bedside clock, I might have like a clock like this on. And when the room's dark, it will change this to like a red light. So I'm just gonna quickly turn the lights off so it's darker in here and it will change over to night mode. Okay, so now you can see it's gone to night mode because the room is dark. So yeah, this is a really cool feature if you wanna use this as a bedside table clock. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.